All right guys, thought I would make a video on my 36 inch John Deere road box made by Montezuma for John Deere. Uh, I picked this box up last year. Um, it's really nice for going out on the road. You can just pick it up with a forklift, throw it in the back of the truck and go, uh, especially in the winter time when I'm not on the road all the time in my service truck. Uh, as you can see, you can fit a lot of stuff in this box. Um, has the socket rails here. Um, up top I have Harbor Freight half inch impact sockets. Love them, never broken them. Um, below that I have Harbor Freight standard uh, deep chrome sockets. They're okay, I don't use standard that much. Below that I have the GP impact 3.8 set uh, metrics, shorts and shallow, or deeps and shallows. Over here I have Blue Point uh, standard deeps and shallows. Creates. Um, down here I have half inch. The top is uh, metric Harbor Freight shallow impacts, and the bottom is standard Blue Point shallows. Then down here I have metric quarter inch Blue Point and standard metric or standard short and deeps. I have a six liter Power Stroke filter socket there for my service truck. And I have a couple extra 13s and a 24 3 8 drive that I use quite a bit. Um, over here I have uh, some ratchets, uh, two snap-ons and a blue point. The half inch drive is blue point. All my extensions, o-ring picks right here, um, snap-on, snap-on screwdrivers, Matco radiator pick, uh, Matco T27 Torx, I believe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, T27 Torx. This is for ECU connectors on John Deere's. They're T27s. Um, cheap set of tractor supply Torx screwdrivers. Um, my air chuck's in there. I just picked up this snap-on spoon pick for O-rings. Um, I haven't really used it that much yet. But when I do, I'll make a video update of how I like that. Down below there, let me see if I can get some light. Um, down below there, I have my kind of catch-all. Um, John Deere engine turning tool, various socket adapters, scraper, utility knife, um, emery cloth. My timing tools are under there, my pins and feeler gauges. Oil filter wrench back in there. Um, the yellow kit is a flat face o-ring kit for various hydraulic hoses and stuff. Always keep a set of gloves. Up top there I have all my wrenches. Um, I have John Deere metric wrenches 8 through 32. Doesn't skip a size. Um, behind that I have Blue Point standard wrenches. And then these are the Matco metric long flex. I love these. Could not do a lot of stuff without them. They get into places that other ratchets just won't. Um, this folds up. Let's see if it'll focus again. Down below I have Snap-on 3.8's 14.4 impact quarter inch bit driver. Um, some more ratchets. I have two Mac ratchets, this Mac spin flex handle, this long Mac, snap on 3 8 standard length, uh, Mac half inch non flex head, big snap on flex head behind that, gear wrench oh, sorry. behind that. I have a gear wrench indexing pry bar, awesome for getting bearings and stuff off. Behind that, I have a John Deere hook bar, same thing, getting bearings off. Um, this is the Craftsman Long Hex and Torx bit set. Um, I have Harbor Freight. I have Harbor Freight hex sockets there. Lyle Torx bits are tucked away under there. Um, Snap-on pliers. Um, Maco snap ring pliers. A pair of Snap-on snap ring pliers. Gear wrench, adjustable wrenches. These are pretty nice. Just picked these up. Really like those compared to what I used to have, which is just cheap metal ones. A couple quarter inch ratchets in there, Pittsburgh, then a snap-on. 
But that's my to-go box. That's what I grab when I just need to go quick out on the road. Uh, I think the box retails for $5.99. Um, I got a little bit of a discount on it since I'm a deer tech. But yeah, any of you guys that are looking to get a road box, I would absolutely suggest this one. This durable, waterproof, it's very weather tight. It's been in the back of my truck in the pouring rain, snow, freezing rain. My tools have never gotten wet. So if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks. Have a good weekend.